Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how you can view and submit assignments or your exams, how you can submit Google form quizzes, how you can scan multiple images into a PDF, how you can upload your handwritten answers. And I'll discuss some frequently asked questions regarding attempting the online exams through Google forms. To begin with, uh, I'll show you how you can view and upload assignments or exams on your mobile phones. All you have to do is download your uh, Google Classroom Meet applications along with the browser and sign in using your G Suite ID. If you do not know how to sign in or if you are facing any problem signing in, you can check out uh, the slides mentioned on this website. Now, when you open your classroom, in the stream section, you can find the assignments or the exams question paper assigned by your teacher. You can click on the assignment icon on the top right corner to view all the assignments, the work assigned to you along. Uh, it could be a question paper, it could be a classroom assignment. In that, all assignments will be shown. You can click on an assignment to view and submit that assignment. If a particular assignment or a question paper has a Google form as an attachment, click on it to submit that quiz. The Google form will open in your default web browser. Make sure that the email listed is your G Suite account. Otherwise, you can click on switch account to use a different account. In case your sibling is also using the same device, then make sure that it is your account from which you are submitting the form in case you are getting a permission error when you open the form it means that you are not accessing the form from the g suite id you can go to accounts.google.com in your web browser and sign in with your g suite id by clicking on add another account or use another account make sure that your g suite account is the active account in your browser before clicking on the form link in your form, you can answer the questions and if a question demands a file upload, you can click on add file button and you can select the file from your mobile phone. The storage will be shown to you and you can tap on a file to attach it. Or you can share the file beforehand to your Google Drive and easily from the My Drive option, you can select the file. Once you have attempted the question paper, you can click on the submit button to hand over the assignment. You can go back to the assignment using open assignment or the turn button. Now, if your teacher has assigned a PDF as a question paper and you have to upload the handwritten answers, you can click on the your work section. In that you have the option to attach a file from a drive from your device you can pick a photo from your gallery you can use the camera to take a photo and attach that as your work after attaching the file you can click on the hand in button or you can uh, add more attachments also so once you hand in your assignment will be submitted now we'll see how you can scan multiple images into a PDF file. You can use many of the free applications which are available for mobile phones for scanning images and converting to PDF. Microsoft Office Lens and Adobe Scan Digital are two free applications. You just download these applications in your Android or iOS phone from the App Store or the Google Play Store. You can open the app to start scanning. In here, I'll be using the Microsoft Office Lens application. You can click on the capture icon to capture the paper on which you have written your answers. After adjusting the borders, you can tap on the confirm button. You can click on the more option mentioned underneath to edit that image. You can rotate the image by clicking on the rotate icon and you can add more files, more images into this PDF by clicking on add button. Once you add the 
required images you can click on the next button and you can finalize your PDF by clicking on the done button you can assign a title to your file so that you can easily identify the file when you are uploading it through your Google form or your work done section so make sure that you are using a descriptive name for your file you can select the PDF option to save it as a PDF into your phone storage now we'll see how you can view and open assignments through Google Chrome on the desktop computers or your laptops open Google Chrome and go to your classroom you can find that your upcoming assignments will be shown to you if the due date is mentioned you can check out the stream also for the assignments or you can find your assignments by clicking on the to do icon which will list all the works assigned to you you can uh, see your assigned works you can see the missing assignments means that the assignments which you have not submitted before the deadline and then you have the done assignments the ones that you have submitted so you can click on an assignment to go to the assignment details page in here again if there is a Google form you can click on that form to submit the form the form will open in a new tab and there uh, could be variety of questions that you can answer for example uh, multiple choice questions only one choice can be selected you can have check boxes in which you can select multiple correct options you can uncheck also you can have match the following uh, questions in which you have to match the labels uh, with the the columns mentioned on the right hand side you can have short answer type questions in where you can write only one line or you can have long answer type questions or paragraph type answers in which you can write in multiple lines again if you have to attach a file click on add file you can select a file from your computer or your drive to select a file you can simply click on browse or select from your device and select a file click on upload and wait for the file to be uploaded then click on the submit button once you're done if any compulsory question or detail is missing you'll be shown a warning and then you can fill and submit you can open your assignment by clicking on open assignment it will open up in the new tab again and your assignment will automatically be marked as submitted or done now you can unsubmit your assignment within the deadline if the deadline is over then you cannot within the deadline you can attach more files by clicking on unsubmit and then you'll be given an option to add files but remember the Google form can only be filled once and you cannot later on edit your answers because it will be set up like that by your teacher that the answers cannot be edited later on now let's discuss some frequently asked questions if you are unable to open the form then make sure that you have logged in using G Suite ID in the browser if your internet stops in between and you re or you reload the form then all answers are gone then in case you have to write or select the answers again can I edit my answers after submitting it will be most probably disabled by your teacher so once you submit your form you cannot later on edit your answers and most probably you'll only be allowed to submit one response so from the same ID you cannot submit again if you press the submit button by mistake and the form shows that you have already submitted then you may request your teacher to delete your previous response and allow you to submit again if the time permits if your answer is on multiple pages and you are unable to upload multiple files then by default uh, the limit is set to one file so create a PDF as shown earlier and upload that PDF file as an answer thank you for watching